Hey, Daniela here. So today I'm gonna to share with you why you do not need to take a break to heal between relationships. That might sound weird coming from me because if you know my story, you know that I took a break between dating. When my ex-boyfriend broke up with me, I took a year off. I didn't date at all until I was ready to date and meet my husband. But I've been hearing from so many women that you've taken a break to heal, to focus in on yourself, to do you. It could have been a few months or a year or more, but when you step out into dating again, it's the same old story. You're repeating the same patterns, having the same feelings, and it's as if you're dating the same freaking ding dong guy. Well, what happened? What, what did the break do? Well, here's the misunderstanding. When you take a break, it's not just to alleviate the stress of dating. It's not just to, to no longer think about relationships and what you want and what went wrong. You can take a break by all means, as long as you focus in on what happened, what went wrong in the relationships of the past, and more importantly, what in you has allowed that to happen, and what can you change so that when you do indeed start dating again, you have a different experience. That's what has to happen, and you don't necessarily need a break from dating to do that. You can do that inner work, that deep, vulnerable, not always fun, but totally necessary work to figure out what exactly went wrong in your past relationships. How were you responsible for that? What in you drew that towards you? And what can you do internally to switch that dynamic so that you have a different experience going forward? Because what I don't want is for you to take a break and feel great, you're doing you, you're working out more, you're you know focused on other things, and then the moment you start dating again, you have the same types of experiences. That's a pointless break. You don't need to take a break to do the inner work to figure out what went wrong, what in you invited that in, and how you can change it. You can, it's not necessary. What is most important is that you actually look at what in you has been calling this in and change it change it in the only way that you can so that you can experience something different. Because what you really want is just a different experience, right? You know, if your pattern has been to attract men who are unavailable, you wanna meet men who are available. If your pattern has been that you try to fix people, you wanna meet somebody who you don't wanna fix and doesn't need fixing. You gotta change from the inside out. And if you're taking a break but ignoring that, then it's pointless and you don't need one. So let me know what you think. I hope this distinction makes sense for you. You don't necessarily need a break. What you do need to do is actually figure out what in you has invited the kind of patterns that you were previously experiencing and what can you change so you have a different experience going forward. Let me know what you think in the comments, in my private Facebook group, and until I see you soon, take good care of your sweetheart. Bye-bye.